Well, I guess I really screwed the pooch on this one. I just broke this cylinder that's supposed to help me turn the body. So, not even a week ago, I blew a hydraulic line on the opposite side cylinder. And then just now, I, was, I backed off and my left side went down a little soft spot. And I was able to I was able to dump the load off, but I couldn't pull out of the rut. So I was sitting there wrestling around, trying to pull out of the rut, hear this loud pop sound. You know, and I'd jump off, hoping that maybe it was just something got in a bind and broke loose, but no, it was, it was pretty clear. So this portion here of the cylinder is supposed to be round so that it can go over this bolt and bushing here, but it's straight. So you can see right there where the metal just snapped and failed. And it's supposed to be over here. My phone will focus, but yeah, there's the other part of the snap. So, I guess that makes it a little bit easier to take the cylinder out if I only have to, you know, only have to do one, undo one bolt. But I'm trying to look at it here and see what all's got to happen. So there's another bolt here on the back end. And honestly, I'm not familiar with how these work, but it looks like there's some sort of keeper bolt in here and then maybe a washer. But I don't know beyond that how the actual uh, bolt and pin pulls out. So I'm going to start with this one because I assume it's the same. So I'll see what I got to do to get this pin and bushing out and uh, go from there. But this really sucks since I took a day of vacation from work today so that I could, you know, get a whole bunch of work done at the farm. I was really excited and then stupid crap like this happens. So anyway, let me see if I even got enough tools to work on the thing and see what I can figure out. Okay, so I skipped some stuff because I got in a hurry. You all know how that works. Got the first bolt out. Uh, it's super easy. Let me see if I can find the bolt here and I'll show you. So here's the pin and the bushing, uh, but it's just got this retainer bolt that goes in the bottom of it. So this pin right here is tapered. So you drop it in from the top and you can hammer it in, whatever you need to do, but drop it in from the top. And then when you put this retainer pin and the bolt in the bottom, it kind of sucks it all together tight and it squeezes this down into that eyelet. Um, that way your bushing and stuff is still loose because it needs to pivot, but your pin is stationary. Now, I had a problem on the front pin because it was loose. The bushings, I guess, were completely shot. The pin was worn. I don't know. Um, but the front one up underneath the truck here, when I went to put a wrench on it to, to take that retainer bolt loose, the whole thing spun. The pin and everything spun. Um, so we went up the road talked to a little shop up the road and went to borrow an impact and the impact by itself couldn't spin it off it was just it was still wanting to spin so then what we did was we took my cheater bar it's laying around front now and I wedged my cheater bar in between the body of the piston there or the body of the cylinder and the back of the bed right here you can see where it scratched the, scratched a little bit of the paint there wedged in there to put pressure on this cylinder to push the whole cylinder forward and that was enough that I got that pin in a bind and then with the impact seal, will pop it and run it off there. So I've got that, I got the retainer out, got the two hydraulic hoses disconnected to make sure that I had the tools I needed to do that before I let go of that other guy. Uh, now I gotta hammer the retainer out and we should be ready to pull this whole thing out and go to town. All right, well, call me cocky, but when I win a battle like this, all I wanna say is, yeah, biatch. So I said that, you know, I was gonna have to get under there and hammer out that front pin. But of course that was not necessary because I'd already told you guys how the pin was spinning loose. So I just got under there with my bar, poked up on it, popped right out. So the whole cylinder was loose then. And uh, then it was just a matter of wiggling and finagling to get it to uh, work its way out of that, that spot. But you can see in a little better light now, you know, that eye there <laughs> used to be round. You can still see some of the original sort of curvature there. I can show you around on the other side maybe and show you what it's supposed to look like. Of course the other side can go greasy and nasty. But, uh, yeah. So there you go. It should be round like that. Just busted. The weld just busted right there. You can see this one's welded too. Factory. So actually that looks like an aftermarket weld on that piece. So it wouldn't surprise me. But let's see if we can't weld this one back up and salvage it too. Um, but I did, you know, had to practice a little bit of safety measure, which of course actually because it helped. You see I've got the orange straps on the cylinder, so what I did was I just put a strap on either end to help support the weight and then just kind of tied them up through the body of the truck however I could. And then just used my bar to to wiggle and work on it to get it, you know, pulled up 
to work it out of that spot and that way if it did slip and fall it wasn't going to fall on my toes or my hand and smash it so once i got it all kind of free hanging then i just lowered the straps down and got out here on the ground and drug it out but anyway yeah, i'm not going to even risk hurt my back i'm going to go fire up the excavator and pick this puppy up and set it in the bed of the truck here and take her to town <laughs>